Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. In this in this video, we'll see how to access clinicaltrials.gov database. It's a registry of clinical trials. So before starting this video, we should know what is clinicaltrial.gov database and why it is useful. So clinicaltrial.gov is a database of privately and public, publicly funded clinical studies conducted around the world. It is run by the United States National Library of Medicine at the National Institute of Health and is the largest clinical trials database. And why it is useful? This is useful for patients and their families, researchers, and study, man uh, study record managers. So for patients and family, they can search for actively recruiting studies that they are interested and they are and they may be able to participate or learn about new interventions, treatment that are being considered. Researchers can search the database to stay up to date on the developments in their field, find collaborators and identify unmet medical needs. Study record managers can learn about registering studies and about submitting their results after study completion. So this is the database web page, home page. Here we can find any study being done worldwide. So we can search the study by recruiting and not yet recruiting studies status and by all studies status. So we'll click on this, this tab. And we can search the study by condition or disease. For example, over here it is written breast cancer. Another option is to search the study by study NCD numbers. This NCD number is unique uniquely assigned for every study by drug name or by investigator also we can search the study third option we have can buy country wise so we will explore first option that is disease or condition we can type any disease or condition over here and search for study so over here we have we will search the study by hypertension Now here we can see we have got more than 9,600 studies for hypertension only. So per page display it is 10, we can increase it to 25, 50 or 100 as per our convenience. Now we can see here the study by their status like recruiting, not yet recruiting, completed, like this we can see the study status second option we have is the study title we can see the title of the study as well hypertension management in family practice olive leaf extract for the in the control of hypertension so we can see the title over here and check the study third option we have is by condition so in this uh, search we have done the uh, uh, so we have searched the study we have searched the study by hypertension condition so all the studies will be of hypertension only next option which we have is interventions so treatment being given in these studies or treatment that is given in the completed study so we, this is the intervention option and the last option which we have is of locations so where the study is being conducted or where the studies have been conducted so we can see by locations as well apart from this now over here if we want specific studies over here now we have got the more more than 9600 study results so we can narrow down this result to see the specific study if we want in certain patient population or by some other uh, things so there are certain filters over here on left hand side corner of this page so filters are from R of status. Status means recruiting, not yet recruiting, suspended, terminated, or completed. So let's apply the filter on completed and see what we'll get. So once we click on completed status, now we can see more than 5,500 st studies are there, which have been completed. Let's try to apply some more filter. Second option is of eligibility criteria. So here we can see this filter by age group and by gender. So let's apply the filter on children 
child birth to 17 years and one more filter is there let's apply the filter on male so once we click on apply now here we can see again we have narrowed down our search to 659 results now the third option is of study type that is interventional observational patient registries expanded access so we can click any of these study to narrow down our search let's say interventional studies so now 302 studies we have opted now if we want to apply some more filters so we have study results that is with results without results let's say we need the study only studies which has which have results so we'll click on this and we'll apply the filter now we have got only 94 studies so by this way we can apply the filter and narrow down our search criteria so that we'll get the specific results so all the filters applied filters will be reflected over here let's try to apply some more filter now we have one more filter that is by study phase that is early phase one phase one phase two phase three phase four so any of if you want any phase specific study we can click on that and we can get the result then next option what we have is by funder type like nih other us federal agency industry all others like individuals university organization and the last option which we have is study documents so here we can get the study protocols statistical analysis plan that is called sap and informed consent document that is called icf so we can apply on this also to narrow down our search criteria so once we apply the relevant filters which we want we can narrow down our search and we can get the specific studies which we want so in initially we were getting more than 9000 studies now we are getting only 94 studies so we can easily read and understand these 94 studies and extract the relevant information what we want if we want this 94 studies in some pdf format so we can we have we have one option that is called download we can click on this download option so number of studies so we can click 94 studies found another option is of select table columns so if we want all available table columns so we, we we need to click on this and we need to select on pdf option and click on download so these studies these 94 studies will be downloaded from this clinicaltrial.gov site so by this way we can search our studies relevant studies so that's all from this video hope you like this video hope you have also find find this video informative please like the video and subscribe the channel also leave your queries and suggestion in comment section see you in the next video till then keep learning and, and keep growing bye